Tech Helpers, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the calendar app in iOS 9. So go ahead and open it up. And I'm on, it's going to take you to wherever you were last opened up the calendar app, but I'm going to start off in the year phase. So you can swipe up and down, uh, you can go back, I don't even know how long, a very long ways, or you can go forward a very long ways. So uh, the easiest way to get back to kind of where you're at is clicking the bottom button down here called Today. Just hit that and it automatically brings you to that. So you can see we're on September 24th, hence the red dot. So if you go ahead and click on a month of your choice, I'm going to go ahead and click September. It will bring up September. Then you can go ahead and swipe up and down again and it will show you each progressive month or in reverse. Um, so uh, once you're there, then you can click on the red dot again. And that's going to show you, it's going to actually bring you into the, the day phase. Um, as of right now, it's just going to sh only show me today. And then it's got each little uh, each little event that you may have scheduled. So actually, Mac Helpers is when I had an appointment today at 8 o'clock with my fellow Mac Helper, Sean. And from here, it's going to, the little red line right there is actually giving you the time of the day it is. So I actually have my Comcast bill due at 5 o'clock. So you can swipe left or right. And that will go to each day. So I'm and now I'm going back in time. So right back to where we are at. Now let's go over the buttons. Now down here today we're gonna start in the bottom left. So if I click today, it's gonna bring you to today. So if I was on the 21st, if I click today, it's gonna automatically jump to the 24th. If I was, let's say, on December 1st, I can click today. And it's gonna be right back to September 24th. So that's that button. The calendars button, I'm going to go over this in more detail, but if you click calendars, I've got, as you can see, a lot of different calendars. I've got subscribe calendars, national holidays, birthdays that are coming, taking directly from my contacts list, a lot of different things. I'll go over that in more detail in here in a sec. You click on inbox. This is going to be if you have received any invitations from somebody, like through whether through Outlook or Gmail or any of those other uh at calendar apps that schedule appointments, you can do that. I've actually replied to these two. I've got a coaching session as well as I'm going to Europe here on October. And so you can accept those. So I'll go ahead and click accept on, on the skip the line tasting. And it's actually, since it's already highlighted as accepted, it's going to bring that on there. So I just clicked on maybe. Now I'm going to click accept and hit done. So scrolling over here to the top right. You click the plus sign. This is actually going to add a new event. I'm going to go over this in more detail here in a second, but I'll click cancel. And then the magnifying glass is searching. So you can go on here and search. And as I just showed you guys, I got a Comcast thing. So it's going to, I'm going to, if I type in Comcast, it's going to bring up every single Comcast things I have due. And in this case, I only have one scheduled on here. So I click on that. It's going to bring that actual deadline up and it tells you where the calendar came from, what the notes are on it, all that stuff. So I'll go ahead and click cancel. And then this next button here, the little, looks like a bullet list. You can click that and it's actually gonna bring up more of your events. So this was a day view. This is actually all your events that you have planned. So like yesterday I had a meeting with Paige and I had a meeting with my mom. And then it's just gonna break down all the specific events. So I'll click that off again. And now let's go back to the month feature. So I just kind of gave you a basic rundown of how you browse through each thing. Now one thing to note is each one of these dots, you can see the light gray dots, each one of those signifies that there is an event attached to it. So if I click on the 24th, let's go ahead and change that again. Let's go, let me explain one thing. See now how before this thing was a bullet list, this dot right here, there are this little thing up here on the top right. If I click that again, but if, let's say if I go back to the month phase, see how it's the it's changed a little bit to like a box with two underlines. Now if I click that, it's going to bring up what they call like a little mini calendar. And so each date I click on, it will actually bring up what events I have for those days. And so that's just a little breakdown there. Um, the next thing, let's go over the calendars portion. So this is the bottom middle section. So let's say you wanted to just get rid of all like right now it's I had some calendars hidden but I have all calendars on there now so now you can see I've got deadlines or I've got little dots on every single thing so uh, one of the calendars I subscribe to is a funny calendar and it gives you funny national or holidays around the world so talk like a pirate day is was on the 19th let's see what this hug a vegetarian day is on the 26th of September so if I do that again, I can hit hide all calendars. Let's say I, if I had a work calendar scheduled on here, I can go on there and pick that specific work one. So let's see, I'm taking my iCloud and hitting work. So as you can see, I have 
very few actual dots on here. And so I go on there, that's a Mac Helper meeting. These two meetings were actually a meeting with Paige and meeting with my mom, that was for uh, an app that we're developing. And then I got a, a real estate class that I'm also in and then an, another meeting with Dave, which is a business broker. A lot of cool things. So now if I hit calendars again, I can hit show all calendars, it's gonna bring up everything again. Or if you go on here, let's say I wanted to work on a specific calendar. Let's say I wanted to work on the home calendar. Whoops. Let's say I wanted to work on show all calendars. Let's say I wanted to work on my calendar. Or I was on edit. So hit calendars again. And then so what I wanted to show you here is if you see all the, uh, the little eye on the right hand side, if you click on that, you can go ahead and add a person to share it with. You can change the name of it completely. You can actually go on here and change the color of how it's flagged on your things. You can turn on notifications. You can make it a public calendar. So anybody you're sharing it with can actually see it, but they're only gonna get a read version, which means that they're not gonna be able to edit anything. Then you could also, of course, click delete calendar. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cancel because I wanna keep it. But that's basically in a nutshell how the calendars portion inside here so you can look on how you wanna do anything. The next thing I wanna show you is how to create an actual event. And there's two different ways to do it. The first one is let's say you're in an actual day. You can go on here and then let's say I wanted to, I had a, a dinner tonight, let's say I had a dinner date. You can click anywhere on there and see how it's kind of allowing me to move it up and down. If I scrub slowly, I can actually put it, let's say I wanted it at 7.30. New event, it's gonna say dinner date. And then I could put an actual location. Let's say I was at Park Meadows Mall, which is a mall here in Colorado. And then I can change, all day means, let's say you were on in a meetings, in meetings all day long, and you knew that nothing else could be scheduled. You can turn on all day, and then it's, see how it got rid of the actual times? But let's say on here, this dinner I know is gonna take about two hours. So from 7.30 to 9.30, I'm going to be busy. And then again, you can click on it again, and then if you wanted to, you can hit edit and go back in here. So you can repeat this. Let's say this is a function or a, a meeting that you're gonna have every single week or something like that. You can hit repeat, and then it's gonna ask you how you wanna do it. You can actually even do it for frequency to daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, and every five days, four days, 20 days, whatever you want. Uh, now, you can. what the cool thing is, they now added travel time. So what this means, if you turn this on, it's going to, you can select a starting location. So let's say I do it for my work. Now it's gonna say, if I were to leave right now, it's gonna take about 25 minutes. And so it'll actually notify you, if you turn this on, it'll actually notify you if you're going to be, let's, uh, let's say there's gonna be rush hour traffic, it'll actually notify you based on the location of where your phone's at, or where you set that location to be, it's gonna, it's gonna actually give you a time frame when you should actually leave so you show up on time. Really cool feature. Now, invitees, you can actually invite whoever you want. Um, let's say I wanted to invite, this was a dinner date, so let's invite my wife. Just type in the person you want, and then it's gonna bring up a list of all the people. That's her work, the second one's her work one, but this top one's her main one. And then I can hit done. And now it's gonna go ahead and invite her, and it's gonna say that there's no responses yet. So you can go on here, and that's on there. So, the next thing you could do is alert when it's time to leave. Or, and then that's based on you can add start at start of travel time. You can do a second alert. You can do up to two alerts. So this next one, let's say 30 minutes before travel time, or this is actually um, this is actually at the start of travel time. And then you could hit show as busy or show as free. And the whole point of this is just to kind of keep you more organized. If it's busy, you're not going to be able to, or it's going to say that there's conflicts if you tried to schedule another appointment during that time. Free just means like let's say you had a Let's say you wanted just a, a notification just said, uh, remind me to call my wife and tell her I love her. Something like that, or remind my kid that uh, he needs to do X, Y, Z. And then you could just set it as free, but it'll just notify you that that's gonna go on. A URL, if there's a link to like an online meeting, you could put that on there, or you can go on here and type any note you want. And then it's gonna save that. Now if you look at this, this is the event details. It's got a breakdown. Lindsay hasn't replied yet. It's actually gonna show you on the map where it's gonna be, and then it'll actually bring up the maps. Um, and they'll show you exactly where it's at, any traffic, or then if you hit top left, it'll bring you right back to the calendar. And that's new with iOS 9. 
So basically, that is it in a nutshell. And so I know I did that from just dragging and creating a new app or a new event, or you can hit the plus sign and it's gonna go through the same exact things. So that is the Calendars app with iOS 9. Now, if you have any questions, hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com slash MacHelpers, or go to yourmachelpers.com and go into the, the help section and type your, your uh, question out. And so, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, remember, facebook.com slash MacHelpers. Thank you.